today I've got a very, very large palette. I actually just got back from one of my liquidation spots. Today I picked up a total of uh, four palettes. I don't really usually dabble in these large palettes much anymore just because of the size of them, the weight of them. Um, you get bigger items out of them was $2,533. My cost was only 173 bucks. And you're gonna have lots of items, lots of mystery box items, these big boxes like this. Biometric safe. Um, it's going to the trash can. Trash. So it's an entire case of Method Antibacterial All Purpose Cleaner. Completely damaged. It's ripped apart. We've got hairs on it. We've got some brownage on this side. And that might be some poopage. These are the size of the box. Like, you know like how wide that I am? These are how big these boxes are. My battery just died on me also. Had to change batteries real quick. And I just lost some more sun going into the house getting a fresh battery. The last item in this box, we have a 3M uh, qualitative fit, fit test apparatus. That's different. Looks like we've got some kind of a hooded 3M tester hood. Something to do with like some scientific or something. That's crazy. So I think almost everything in this first box, I think has been brand new. So that's actually really good for the first box in this video. Like, you know what? As a liquidator, that's pretty much the best thing I can ask for is brand new stuff, you know what I'm saying? So let me box up all this and uh, get to the second box. Second box. Come on. What we got in this one? Lots of big box stuff in this one. First one. Lamp contains mercury. So it appears this thing contains a lamp. Looks like we've got like a uh, mosquito lamp in here. Okay. Here we've got a, another waterproof, fireproof sentry safe. Good item. Hopefully the keys are in it, but if not, you can get replacement keys pretty cheaply for it. That's like 20, 20 to 25 bucks for it. Here we've got fragile handle with care. Whatever inside's broken. Put we'll it set that down. It is broken, whatever it is. Yeah. Underneath the desk, exercise peddler. I actually had one of these and I actually used it underneath my desk for a little bit. It works, but it like it rides up on you whenever you try to use it. It it doesn't it doesn't stay on the ground very well. It works though. But yeah, you know. It's better to get that out than a whole case of snot suckers. Then next item, another big box item. We got a George Foreman panini grill. It's obviously used. Everything inside of it's loose, but a used panini grill as long as it's not nasty, you know. It's like 10, 12 bucks or so. Oh man. That's broken. Well, that's broken. But we'll we'll start a broken stack. 
next item. We've got a rotating Belgian waffle maker. It's not bad. The box on this kind of beat up. It's ripped up. It's been taped up. The box is in the best condition, but as long as it's not nasty, decent money on that. Then we've got a Phillips. Oh, we got a 12 pack of the soft white light bulbs. So something like this, I try out every single one. I screw it into a light bulb socket. Light bulb works. I sell it. Doesn't work. Throw it away. So 12 light bulbs. Brand new case. And last item in this box, we've got a summer infant baby uh, high chair. There is a fly that's like creeping around my screen that I can see myself in and it's kind of, it's very distracting. But yeah, that's a cool item. So that is it for the second box. So let me box that stuff up and we'll do the third box. And we're about to lose the sun. So let me get this quickly. box is heavy. Third box. Let's see what we got in this one. A lot of big box stuff in this. Well, here we got a, uh, a Genie Plus cat litter disposal system. Actually, might have to keep this. We have a cat and we might need to actually keep this. I had to ask the wife about this. But a brand new one, this might be a keeper, maybe. Set this off camera for the time being, might be a keeper. Let's see what we got next. Oh, okay, we got a Mr. Box. Oh, this is, it's just a paper shredder. Most paper shredders, if they get returned, it's because they're burnt up and they do not work. I don't think I've ever have received a uh, return paper shredder that actually worked. If I have, it's literally probably been like two, one tops ever. And then of course, we have another one. But at least this one's in its original box. So at least I will try this one out. Um, the other one, I'll plug it in just to see, but I guarantee it won't work. That one, probably won't work but yeah it's just it's just just from experience then we have a dirt devil simple sticks we had one of these on the first pallet and this one ooh, it is heavily used heavily used there's literally dirt falling out of the bottom of the box so this one is heavily 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 used but dirt devils though those things are like tanks, like they last a long time. They usually work. Um, pretty much those, if you get them in return pallets, just clean them up, wipe them down, make them look good, and they sell like that. It's easy money. Then we got two of these in this box. That's the last two things in this third box. We got the sit to stand walkers. These are getting liquidated right now like crazy. I don't know why. My toy pallet last week or two weeks ago, Two weeks ago, I had like what four of them in that pallet. A pallet back in like May, I had like six of them. And this one, I think I've gotten like what two or three so far. Three, well, here's two. I think I had, I think one from the first one. I'm getting a bunch of these, but they sell quickly. I'm actually selling them right now um, for 15 bucks a piece. And uh, they don't sell super fast, but they do sell. Just be patient with them, and they do sell. So, yeah, there's something strange going on with those sit the stand walkers or something going on as to why they're all being liquidated right now in in mass quantities i don't know so we got one box left from this 450 pound two pallet liquidation lot that i purchased Be right back This 
box is actually probably the lightest one of all two pallets is this one. Looks like the reason why in this one, it has two more of the sit to stand walkers in this box. That's two more of them. So I think in the past few weeks, that's a total of possibly four, seven or eight of them past two weeks. In the past couple months, I think that's like maybe 13 to 15 of them. And they're, once you open up those boxes, everything inside is still factory packaged up, like it's still brand new. Strange. So, and in here, we've got another 150 pack of pet training pads. Still brand new, 150 pack. Then we've got desk drawer safe. The wife just pulled up. The wife is here. She might even appear on camera really quick. She might not. Hi, honey. Hold on. Stage fright for her. We're recording right now. Here, you can catch the very tail end, the very last box before we lose the sun. It's We're getting close. We're losing the sun. Hello. I went shopping. Spending my money. <laughs> oh, you got me some tide. I know. Boop, boop. Got detergent, tide, all kinds of goodies. All kinds of goodies. But in this box, we have an Amazon Basics. We have another safe. You can hear keys inside of it. No. Is it open? It's locked. Oh. But there might be some way to get inside of it. I'll have to read the directions or Google how to get inside of it to get the keys. But sometimes people like to return safes and they lock the keys inside of it when they return it. But uh, the keys are in it. You gotta get them out. So that's like, I think that's the second safe so far. Or that's, no, that's the fourth safe. Then we have a bit of wood. It's a shelf. A boat, a broken bit of wood. Uh, fixed it. It's kind of nice, little crafty thing. Not too bad. And this is it, the last item. We've got a Weber Rapid Fire Chimney Starter Aimer. I'm not sure what this is used for, but it sounds fancy. Yep, but yeah, so whenever you buy larger boxes like this, Everything in the boxes is larger items, so you get bigger stuff. You get big box stuff and no, like, mom washers, no snot suckers. You get safes, you get training pads, you get leaf blowers, panini presses. You get all big box stuff, but it weighs a ton. So you got to make sure that lift with your legs, not with your back, and it wears you out. So. That is the eight total boxes on two pallets. And I think all in all, there was actually a lot of really good brand new stuff. A lot of the stuff, I bet you half was brand new still. So it wasn't too bad. So if you wanna see some more just like this, where I buy some more of these big boxes, and it is a lot more work, it's a lot more physical. It's a lot more physical of a job. Uh, just let me know. Uh, comment down, say you wanna see some more big box stuff and I'll buy some more. So we'll see you next time. Wife say bye. Wife says bye.